during the summer, we need to prepare because obviously you get so much better during spring, you don't want to lose it, everything you gain, like the hard work you put into. So over the summer, you want to do as much as you can. At the end of every season, we have a, an assessment of them as a student, as a volleyball player, um, and as an athlete. And at the end of the spring season, I sat down with each one of them and told them what they needed to work on, both technically and physically, for the summer in order to be prepared for this fall. My coach made it very clear to us that we had to all join a gym or join a team. And so I made sure that even though I was studying abroad in Toronto, that I joined a volleyball team and I also joined a gym. So I was in the gym doing a lot of rehab stuff. I actually messaged Linson and Yuki a couple times to make sure that I was on track with my rehab to be better and make sure I was okay for the season. We had a pretty hard spring season, um, but during um, the summer, we really focused on working hard every day, working out, everything. Actually, it was a little bit more challenging for me since I went study abroad, so I had to find um, a gym to go work out in and everything like that. And it was hard because it, was, it wasn't the same equipment, but um, I had to do what I had to and um, uh, try to adjust some of the workouts as I could. Can we just follow the regimen that Coach Yuki gave us? and? really focus on keeping our vertical up, which was a big deal for us going to the summer because we had gained so many inches. So we really had to focus on keeping those, which wasn't easy, but we did a really good job and Coach Yuki was really happy. In the past, we've had issues over summer with people uh, not working out as much. And when we come back, obviously you can't lift us. We are not as strong, we don't jump as high, we're not as fast which will translate over into how we play volleyball. But this year, we didn't have much of that at all. Like, the majority of people came back jumping the same height, not including the people that had injuries, but that's understandable. But pretty much everyone else came back in as good a shape or even better shape than they left in, which was really good. And that way, we don't have to spend the beginning of preseason getting back into shape and getting back to how we were when we left. So we kind of already started off a step ahead of what we have in the past, which was really good. And I'm really glad about that. These last uh, two and a half weeks, I think, um, have been really great for us. Um, I really feel like the team is, like, we're, we have a really strong um, foundation now, so all we can do is, like, move up from here. Yeah, I think that we are used to each other now, and I think that this year is going to show that for sure because we all know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and the good part is that a lot of us don't have the same weaknesses before as we did when we came in, and I think that that's helping for sure. And then our freshmen, they have all come in very ready to play and very um, in a very good position to be athletically gifted, mentally strong. It's, it seems like we're all gonna be very good together. <laughs> One thing we really communicated and stressed to the team is that the four weekends that we play before we start conference play are really just checkpoints. And the biggest thing we want to see out of each one of those four checkpoints is that we're moving forward as a team, uh, both individually and collectively. Um, and if that's happening, then great. We're going to be in the best position possible for any C play, which is what we're really concerned about. Well, we've been practicing three times a day, so I think that's how we've been preparing. This tournament will show how ready we are now on the court you can like coaches can see how everyone is doing and they have they say they have a tough job of picking the lineup but our first game we will see how good everything is going and it will be like a little sneak peek into what our season will look like hopefully it will be good everyone is like very excited for our first game it's going to be a really important first tournament because it's it's real game-like. We do game-like situations here in practice, but there we're really on the court, and it's really nerve-wracking. I know for me as a freshman last year, going to the first tournament, the first game of your college career, and I know the freshmen here are probably like that too, so to get those jitters out and to be confident and move forward and learn from whatever we do there is gonna be really important. Uh, when you have 12 returners like we have, um, there's a lot of details that they're able to provide those new players, so I don't have to. Um, you know, I, I personally call them uh, Coach Abraisms. <laughs> There's a lot of things that we do in this gym that are very particular to me as a coach uh, that a lot of them I don't think have heard before, whether it's the way I refer to things. You know, and, you know, a lot of coaches will say surfaces up, and I say bumpers up, which is 
I think, funny. Uh, I'm not sure how they feel about it. <laughs> but um, th there's a lot of little things like that that I say that um, uh, all of the returning players are able to kind of fill in the gaps for those new players. So I don't have to. As a team, we've kind of put the goal on ourselves to surprise people. Um, we were voted to come in last place in our conference, was, which we felt really disrespected by. And so now we're all eager to go out there and prove people wrong and, and do what we have to do and show them that they were wrong to rank us last. Um, personally, I, I want to be a better teammate, whether that means uh, playing better or just pushing my other teammates in practice more, uh, being the best player I can be and bringing up the rest of my team. That's, that's my goal. As a team, I think everyone wants to give their best every game. Maybe one game we will not, some will not do so well, but thank God we have a lot of people who are ready to jump in. And by doing our best, we will see what the season will look like. Hopefully, our goal is to do something that San Francisco Volleyball has never done before.